Okay, I'm on the phone with Brand from California, and we continue our discussion. Brand is recommending an article by Mark D. Carpenter called Unduly. I'm going to go Google Unduly Harsh outside the camp, and it's come up. Google's pulled up Mean Surly Unduly Harsh, and I'm going to close this article by Mark. Okay, and then Mark Carpenter has written. Brand is recommending an article where Barcom is written. Sometimes when we use certain words or phrases, we are accused of being mean, surly, unduly harsh, or ad nauseum. We are given verses like Matthew 5, 22, etc. And then Mark quotes Psalm 14, the fool says in his heart, there is no God. Um, Psalm 92, a brutish man knoweth not, neither does a fool understand. Psalm 94, understand you brutish among the people, and you fools, when will you be wise? Psalm 107, fools, because of their transgression, and because of their iniquities, are afflicted, was David surly or unduly harsh when he said these things. Psalm 81, the haters of the Lord should have submitted themselves to him, but their time should have endured forever. Was Asaph mean when he said in, sorry, Asaph mean when he said that in Psalm 81? In Isaiah, was Isaiah mean when he said, surely the princes of Zoan are fools? The counsel of the wise counselors of Pharaoh has become brutish. How say you to Pharaoh? I am the son of the wise, the son of ancient kings. Isaiah 56, his watchmen are blind, they are ignorant, they are all dumb dogs. Um, they are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark, sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Isaiah 56, yes, surely greedy dogs which can never have enough. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way, every one of them to their own gain from his quarter. Isaiah 57, but draw near that you sons of the sorceress, the seeds of the adulterer and the whore. Jeremiah, was he mean? Jeremiah 3, therefore the showers have been withheld and, and there is no light rain. And you have had a, for, a whore's forehead. Israel refused to be, I'm not sure, Israel or Judah refused to be ashamed. Jeremiah 50, a sword is upon the liars and they shall dote. A sword is upon a mighty man and they shall be dismayed. Uh, Ezekiel 16, you have played the whore, which was also with the Assyrians, because you were insatiable. Yes, you have played the harlot with them, and you could not be satisfied. Matthew chapter 3, when many of the Pharisees were out there, he said, O generation of vipers who have warned you to flee the wrath to come. Luke 3, the multitude came, O generation of vipers. Romans 1, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedience to parents. 1 Corinthians 15, you fool, that which you sow is not quickened except the die. Galatians 1, but though we are an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel to you than that we have preached to you, let him be a curse, as we said before, so we say again, if any man preach any other gospel to you than that which you have preached, let him be a curse. Galatians 5, I would say that they would even cut themselves off to trouble you. 1 Timothy Whoremongers for them that defile themselves with mankind, for man steals for lies, for purges purges, and if there be any other thing which is contrary to sound doctrine. Hebrews chapter 12, but if you be without chastisement, whereof are all partakers, then you are bastards and not sons. James 4, you adulterers and adulteresses, how you not know that friendship with the world is enmity against God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is an enemy of God. Second Peter chapter two: These are walls without water, clouds that are carried with a, with with a storm, to whom the mist of darkness is reserved forever. Jude chapter one: These are spots in your feast of charity, when they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear. Clouds they are without water, carried about with wind, carried about of winds. Trees without fruit with it, without fruit with it, twice dead, plucked off by the roots. Jude, I'm oh sorry, Jude one. Raging waves of the seas, foaming out their own shame, wandering stars to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. Matthew 6. Therefore, when you do your alms, do not sound a trumpet as the hypocrites in the synagogues do, that they may have the glory of men. Matthew 6. And when you pray, don't be like the hypocrites that stand in the streets. Matthew 7. 
You hypocrite first cast the beam out of your own eye. Matthew 12, O generation of vipers, how do you speak evil? Matthew 15, you hypocrites, well did Isaiah speak of you. Matthew 15, let them alone. They are blind leaders of the blind. Matthew 16, and in the morning will be foul weather. O hypocrites, you discern the times of the, the signs of the face of the sky. Matthew 22, but Jesus perceived their wickedness and said, Why tempt me, hypocrites? Matthew 23, woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. Matthew 23, woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. You compass sea and land, you children of hell. Matthew 23, woe to you, blind guides. Matthew 23, you fools and blind. Matthew 23, you fools and blind. Matthew 23, woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. Matthew 23, blind guides. Matthew 23, hypocrites. Matthew 23, Blind Pharisees, Matthew 23, hypocrites, Matthew 23, hypocrites, Matthew 23, serpents, generation of vipers, how will you escape the damnation of hell? Okay, hypocrites, Matthew 7, Luke 6, um, hypocrite, Luke 11, fools, Luke 11, hypocrites, Luke 12, fool, Luke 12, hypocrites, Luke 13, Hypocrite, Luke 24, fool, John 8, father is the devil, John 8, you've not known him, Revelation 3, because you say I'm rich and increase with goods and I mean of nothing, you know not, you are wretched and miserable, poor, blind and naked. First Kings, Isaiah, Elijah mocked him and said, cry aloud for he is a god, Psalm 52, why boast you myself in mischief, O mighty man? The goodness of God endures continually. Your tongue just devises mischief. Like a sharp razor working deceitfully, you love evil more than good and lying rather than speaking righteousness. You love all devouring words, O deceitful tongue. God shall be likewise destroy you forever. He shall take you away and pluck you out of the dwelling place and root you out of the land of the living. The righteous also shall see and fear and then laugh at him. Lo, this is the man that made not God his strength, but trust in the abundance of his richness and strengthen himself in his wickedness. What is your take on that, Brandon, from California? Uh, Amen, brother. I'm going to just click stop recording.